Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and this is Plant Dust Woman. And in today's video, we are going to Steve's Leaves. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love Steve's Leaves. I love their plants. I think the quality is perfect. Every time I get a plant from them, it is so well rooted, it's healthy. I just have never had a bad experience with them personally. Big fan over here. Um, and if you did not know, I live in the DFW area in Texas and that is where Steve's Leaves is located. So if you do live local, you can actually pick up from Steve's Leaves. You can't go inside and shop, but you can order online and use a code and go pick it up locally, which is a really cool thing that I think some of you guys didn't know. I didn't know for a while and now I do. And clearly it's a problem because I bought eight plants. <laughs> Just kidding. I think it's a great option. That way you can bypass shipping and you don't have to worry about your plants getting damaged in shipping. And yeah, it's all around a good time. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe if you have not already. And let's go pick up some plants. <laughs> okay, really fast. I have my conversation here with Kim at Steve's Leaves. Yes, I printed them because I film on my phone, so. Sorry, I did wanna to read to you the official instructions that you get when you order a plant, just so you guys can get a full feel for the process. So you order your plants, Kim will reach out to you. So she's available Monday through Wednesday and Friday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. for pickup. What day and time works best for you? So she's gonna reach out to you and schedule a time for you guys. You do have to have a scheduled time to pick up with her. You don't just show up. So today I told her I'll be there at 11. You just text her, she's so great. Love Kim so much. Um, you just text her, schedule a time and you go pick it up. So this, she then texted me the address and said, we're on four acres in a residential area. So it will probably feel like you're going the wrong way, but you're not. It does feel like that, but you're not. <laughs> You're going to turn onto the gravel drive and pass a house and a barn, continue to the greenhouses in the back. Park outside and text me when you're here and I'll bring your order out. Um, and that is exactly how it works. You pull in, there's a little house on the left, a little barn, you drive all the way to the back to the greenhouses, you text her that you're here and she brings it right out to your car. It's so simple, so easy. This is the plant dropping that I love. I just do it in my bed, I order some plants drive over there, she brings them to my car, it's perfect. <laughs> and she is the sweetest, I love Kim so much. Um, again, thank you to Steve's Lease for letting me film this process. I am super excited to go see these plants, but yeah, let's go. Me again, if I didn't mention, the pickup code is PICKUP21, and that is for locals only in the DFW area. Locals only. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are pulling in to Steve's Leaves. So as you can see, you pass a house, and you are just gonna pull all the way back around. Sorry if it's shaking, I'm driving and filming. And yeah, you just pull back here to the greenhouses and then you just text Miss Kim and she will bring out your plants to you. So yeah, it's super easy. Okay you guys, so I just text her and told her that I was pulling in. So now we will wait for her to come out. <laughs> I'm really excited. And I'm probably going to get out of the car and kind of help her because I did get quite a big order, which, you know, is ridiculous. <gasps> there she is. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to turn my truck off so it's not so loud. <gasps> There's the plant. There's Miss Kim. Oh, you guys can hear that airplane. Hi! I'm good, how are you? Oh my gosh, look at all the goodies. You guys can see I went a little overboard here. Oh no, it's great. You've got your Metallica, you've got your Elsa. Beautiful. Your Steve's Lee's Margaret Happy. Love it. Your Flamingo Queen. Brandy. Daniels, your Brandy. It's huge. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, um, we can put this in my front. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna set it in the seat. Starting it's fine. The website was working well. It was working really well. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. so excited. I'll give you guys a tour of all these plants in a bit. Oh my gosh, how have you been? Doing well. Doing Good. Well. How'd you weather the storm? Well, um, as they know, I was moving, so we oh, had to wow. move during the snowstorm, which was kind of crazy, but good. All the plants survived except one, which was promising. Good. How about you guys? Good, we did well. 
we were uh, able to keep the heat on in here. I was worried about um, you guys. Yeah, we were too. <laughs> we lost power a few times, but we got the generators going. Yeah. So we were uh, good to go there. Um, I think we were only without power for about an hour or two total. Yeah, well, that's so, good. So it worked well. Yeah, yeah, me and Shelby were worried. We were like, oh gosh, I hope was, they're okay. We were very worried. We had our maintenance guy up moving the snow off the roof. Yeah, like <laughs> I could only imagine. Um, I did want to let you know that we are building a new site. Yay! We put out a little teaser, I think, right after the new year. Um, but we're looking at two to three weeks okay. to, in our testing phase now. Um, you will get an email asking you to confirm your account. Um, okay. That'll transfer all of your orders over to the new system. Um, that way you'll hide your history and it'll stay there. But yeah. make sure you go in and uh, give give us the authority to move everything. Sweet! That's yeah. exciting. I know everybody's going to be excited about oh, that. Oh yeah, <laughs> we have a couple really cool features. The inventory is going to go in all at one time. Okay. Um, and we're going to have a 10 minute cart hold. Sweet. So, oh, that's good. That's so really nice. The combined orders. And right, right. So you don't have to do so many separate orders like that's me. Right. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're I'm so welcome. excited. All right. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Okay. And we're back. It's only been a second for you guys, but it's been an entire work day for me. So I am home. It is the evening time and I'm really excited to be able to look at all of these beautiful plants and be able to show them to you and just admire them myself because I did pick them up on my lunch break so I just got to quickly look at them and I've been excited all day to come nerd out and look at all of these begonias. Um, I have them all in front of me here, yes, <laughs> a ridiculous amount, but I'm so excited. I think I know the names of all of them, but I think they're all labeled as well. Thank you, Steve's Leaves, for labeling them because sometimes it gets hard <laughs> when you do these giant orders. Um, all right, let's just get into the plants. I thought I would get the one philodendron out of the way first and then we'll move on to begonia. Um, but one of the most exciting plants that I got is this philodendron brandy or brandiatum. Um, first of all, look at the size of this thing. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this big. This is much bigger than I expected to receive and I don't know how Steve's Leaves does it, but they always have these giant plants in these tiny little pots and it's honestly impressive. Um, yeah, there is a ton of new growth on this. Wow, I didn't get to really look at it before, but first of all, here's a close up. Look at those silvery leaves. We've got a new leaf coming in right here, a new leaf opening right here, a new leaf opening right here. Um, another new growth right here. So yeah, this thing is established and putting out lots of new leaves, which is really exciting. I have wanted this plant for a very, very, very long time. I've heard people say that it can be difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> um, based on how this thing is growing, it seems like it's gonna be a piece of cake, but we will have to see. You guys know if you've watched me for more than a minute that I'm obsessed with silver plants, my Cebu Blue, that bluish silvery tone in plants is so beautiful like i'm obsessed and as soon as i saw this a long long time ago i knew that i had to eventually have it and yeah i um also i'm gonna put the prices to all this on the screen i believe she gave me a little sheet but i don't have it in front of me because i'm the worst so i will put the prices on the screen um as we go along and yeah philodendron brandy look at how beautiful this is this thing is stunning i'm i'm literally obsessed you guys oh my god i could talk about this forever but wow honestly in person the leaves are even prettier than than i thought when i saw pictures of them just beautiful so beautiful okay we're done with you i'm gonna try and not break any leaves today so that's the goal i'm actually gonna set these down or over here as i go Okay, next, let's move on to begonia. This first begonia here is the Steve Leaves Margaret Heppel. I believe this is a um, variety that they specialize in. Um, wow, this is beautiful. The first thing I notice is that it's very pointy, like the tops of the leaves are very, very pointy, which I love. And they have that beautiful angel wing shape. You guys know I'm not an expert on begonia, but I have quickly become obsessed. And this is so beautiful. Wow. I love, it's the pointed tips for me on this one. And these leaves are such good, like a good size. This is a great like size plant to start with. So I'm really excited. It's got a new leaf coming in right here and another one down here as well. So yeah, that's the first one. I love it. 
and I love the coloring on it. It's got a very unique green color, almost olive-y toned, and yeah, it's really beautiful. So that's the first one. Love it. I'm gonna set these up here. Try not to break one. I'm very nervous. I have a lot of plants balancing on a very tiny table. <laughs> okay, next up, I believe this is the white ice. Let me double check. Yes, this is the begonia white ice. Whoa, look at those spots. Oh my God. Wow. This is definitely the most spotted begonia I now have, and it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. The leaves are definitely kind of smaller than the other angel wing begonias that I have, but it is so beautiful. I am obsessed. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to have it. I've had this on my list for a while. I was just waiting for it to be back in stock. But yeah, this is so beautiful. This looks like otherworldly. Like all polka dot begonias look that way to me. They look like Jurassic Park or like something that you shouldn't touch. <laughs> I don't know. But this one specifically just looks like poisonous. <laughs> I don't know, not poisonous, but just crazy. Like, right? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I could be being dramatic, but that is a really cool plant. Wow. Okay. I love that. All right. Next, let's stick to some spots, shall we? This is the Begonia Elsa, and wow. Okay, first of all, these leaves are huge. Like, look at that next to my head. <laughs> these leaves are very dark, like almost black, like a really, really dark green, and clearly I love black, you know? So I was really drawn to this. If you see up close, it is a green. It's just a very, very dark, shiny, very like lacquer-like leaf. It's so beautiful. And the backs are, of course, a bright red, burgundy color. So pretty. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. I love this. The, the dots on this one are definitely more subtle than like my Maculata or some of the other spotted ones that I have. But the color of the leaves is such a deep color. It is so beautiful. And these are really long leaves. Like, I feel like these are big leaves. So I'm really excited. Again, lots of new growth coming in on this. We got one here, one right here, one right here. So, and another one right here, <laughs> all the growth. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. Also, this is a very big plant as well. I'm surprised by the size of this. I was thinking it would have one or two leaves. So yeah, very happy with that. Again, Begonia Elsa, there's the spots up close. Okay. All right, next, let's go away from spots for a minute. Let's mix it up. This is the Metallica, I believe, yes. Begonia Metallica, and wow, this was by no means on my list. I had never even heard of this plant, but when they did their restock and I saw the texture of these leaves and the coloring, oh my gosh. Again, it's that really like, I'm just into that color. It's like an olive I don't even know. I wanna say like pukey green, but that makes it sound gross, but it's such a cool color. Um, just look at that. That is the most textured leaf. I am obsessed. This is beautiful. In the backs, let me show you the backs. Hopefully you can see. Like begonias are just beautiful front, back. It doesn't matter. Oh, I have quickly become obsessed as you can tell. I, I love this. I think this is so gorgeous. I know nothing about it, so I really need to research it, but Right off the bat, I am loving it. And it is so pretty. Again, that is the Begonia Metallica. Also cool name, like what? Of course I love it. Um, okay, next, back onto spots. <laughs> this is, I believe the Flamingo Queen. Yes, so this is a Begonia Flamingo Queen. And right off the bat, it kind of looks like Immaculata to me, but if you notice, it has a lot of spots around the edges which I think is really, really cute and looks very different. Um, also, when you compare all these next to each other, they don't look that similar. Like they have spots, yes, but you can really tell that they are different plants when you put them next to each other. This is beautiful. Of course, I love it. I love my Maculata and it's very similar. I love the dots around the edging. Tons of new growth on this baby. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I plan on putting all of these begonia together on a shelf and I can just have my little begonia village over there. <laughs> I think it's gonna be great. I cannot wait. Okay, three more. There's only two more in this order, but I actually threw in another one that I got last week because I thought I might as well show it to you guys because I did get it from Steve's Leaves. 
a week ago. <laughs> Um, but we'll do that one at the end. Okay, next is Begonia Ice Capades. Wow, look at this. This one is beautiful. It's not, it is kind of spotted, but it's more like, I don't even know, like little blobs, lines. It just has the most beautiful pattern on it. Also, this is such a full plant in this little pot. I love it. I'm, I'm so impressed, always, I'm always impressed with seeds leaves and how full their plants are and that's just something to expect from them i've just noticed um my salta bacana came so full my begonia medora came so full all of my plants that i've gotten from there have just been so healthy so i didn't have any doubts but yet i'm always impressed um but yeah this one is so beautiful i'm really glad that i picked it up i was worried that it would be really similar to this one let me not knock that off to this one, but they are definitely not. Um, they definitely have the same kind of size and leaf shape, um, but one is definitely more spotted and one has just kind of random shapes here, but they are so pretty together. Oh my gosh. This is what I love about begonia. There's just so many shapes and colors and textures. Like there's something for everyone. So just when you think you're not into begonias, keep looking. You might find one that you're into. That's what happened to me. Um, next is Begonia Jean Daniels. Ooh, this one. <laughs> wow. This is beautiful. The color got me on this one. It is like a olivey, army green color. This new leaf has like a yellowy, like mustard tone to it. The leaves are just like this big matte green shape. They're so beautiful. The backs have a nice red coloring, like always. And yeah, these are beautiful. This new leaf, wow. This is such a pretty plant. I'm so into this. And I love that this one doesn't have spots. It doesn't have crazy things going on, but it's still such a beautiful plant. And honestly, I was just so drawn to it. It doesn't need all the flash, you know? It's got the color. I love it, that leaf. Oh, so pretty. Okay, love it. All right, last one. So that was the order from today. <laughs> and then I did get a uh, Lucerna. Lucerne, Lucerna, I'll put it on the screen, um, last week and obsessed. I've been loving this plant for a week now. Look, just look, just look. The older leaves are nice and green. The new leaves are like a yellowy tone. And then we've got some new, new leaves that are red. Like this is so beautiful. Just look, I am obsessed. Do you guys hear the fly in here? Can you go away? I keep getting flies in here because I leave the door open and I let my dogs come and go and then I've got flies. So if you hear a fly buzzing around, please stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the one I picked up last week and I have been absolutely loving it. I have heard from many people that these grow incredibly fast and that they're very easy care. So I'm looking forward to seeing this baby grow. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is all the plants that I picked up today from Steve's Leaves. Just a reminder, if you are local to the DFW area, you can pick these up at their greenhouse. You just need to put in that code and text Kim and schedule a time. So yeah, I'm super happy with all of these. I will be posting them on my Instagram and giving you guys updates as they grow. But yeah, if you guys have any questions regarding picking up at Steve's Leaves, comment down below. I'm happy to answer them for you. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I sure did. I had a great time picking up all these plants. I am in heaven right now. I'm in begonia heaven. Bless. All right, you guys, that is it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.